What's going on YouTube? Jedi270 here from RX. This is going to be a short video and basically I wanted to do this for two reasons. I get a lot of questions about my personal gear. That and plus I want to see what the Acer Iconia tab can do. Uh, right now we're supposedly shooting in 1280 by 720. We'll see how that relates to YouTube. Uh, the screen does blink a little bit, which, you know, I'm not really worried about because it doesn't show it in uh, post video. So let's get into it. The Condor MOPC is probably one of the only true one-size-fits-all plate carriers out there. It's infinitely adjustable for us bigger guys because a lot of the plate carriers are built for you little scrawny dudes. Um, no, don't worry about it. I'm not upset about it. I'm very happy being the way I am. I'm well fed. I won't die hungry, that's for sure. Um, right here on the front on the chest is my Milspec Monkey Combat Admin Pouch from Maxpedition Hard Use Gear. Um, you know, the white balance on these things is a little bit weird, but, you know, rest assured the pouch does match the rest of the vest. It just doesn't look like it. Uh, down here on the bottom, we have my double M4 mag pouches. All of these are from North Star Tactical. Great, wonderful items. I love North Star. And honestly, I will be replacing this plate carrier when North Star comes out with the MOPC style. Uh, right here I have a double uh, pistol mag pouch, also from North Star. I have my roll-up dump pouch right here on the uh, left rear of my body. That is from Condor slash uh, OE Tech. On the back, we have the hydration carrier, which comes with a 3-liter uh, bladder. That's also from Condor slash OE Tech. And on the other side of my body, you know, we've done a video. Oops, I covered up the camera. Sorry about that. Um, this is my medical pouch, which I believe everyone should carry. This one also is from Condor slash OE Tech. And then basically let's cover a lot of stuff that I like and I don't like. One of the things I really love about Condor is the fact that they have, let's get around on this side, these really big beefy buckles. All right, they're not going to break anytime soon. But you would think they would carry this over to the drag handle, which they obviously did not. Because you see how thin this drag handle is? Not only that, it's cut at this 45 degree angle. Why they didn't stitch that down along this line, I don't know. But I don't have a whole hell of a lot of confidence in this thing. On the North Star version, it's way thicker, and it has hook and loop on the bottom, which makes it deployable. Okay, Now, the, I do like the fact that you get three strips of hook and loop molly on the back and the front, by the way. So you can proudly display your morale patches or your name tapes or so forth. Uh, there you see my name tape from WETTI when I was doing reviews for WE. Um, it comes with a really nice drinking tube on the bladder. Uh, really cool, really nice uh, bite valve. That one, I purchased this one actually from uh, Airsoft GI. Um, I like the padded shoulder pieces here with the hook and loop, which allows me to stick that hydration tube down in there. So it rides down the front of my body, and it's out of my way. Um, I also like... The way the uh, cummerbund is set up, I love the inside mesh right here. That's it's very breathable. This vest will accept 10 by 13 or 8 by 13 plates. Uh, we've had a buddy of mine's plates in there, uh, both steel and ceramic, and it's very comfortable and, and easy to wear. Now, also down here in the bottom, I like this thing, and you can put small plates in here in the side. I wouldn't really put anything like magazines and stuff in there because it just seems to me like it's going to be digging into your side all day and aggravating the hell out of you. So basically, I just don't use it. Um, may put like uh, some money down in there, something like that. And then also, it's also on the other side, right down in here too. I mean, it's a nice vest, don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people hate on Condor, but um, you know, would I trust it? Real steel applications? It's all about the plates. It has nothing to do with the carrier, except for the fact you don't want it to fall apart on you. And right now, we don't have any issues with that. Also is my JT paintball mask, full face, it's had its wear and tear, and my Jedi signature olive drab and black, so yeah, that's it guys, and it's starting to rain again, I'm sorry about the wind noise, and we'll see how this one turns out, I thank you for watching, uh, please subscribe for more.